Well, good morning. A short video to show you the country boy can cook. Using up leftover pieces of bread. These are hot dog buns left from 4th of July. They last forever out on the counter. And you can see this one's kind of disappeared the length of it. That's cause I feed little pieces to my sidekick big man, my long dog that you always hear coming into the kitchen clattering on the floor as he's walking by and coming to see what I'm cooking. So I'm gonna make him a little piece of cinnamon toast too this morning. So, I had a couple of pieces of just regular white bread left in a package. I've already buttered those. Everyone knows how to butter uh, the bread, but here you go anyway. I use real butter. I'll leave it to set out on the counter. It's in a covered tub. And uh, it does just fine. My mother always left hers out on the cabinet. We kind of got away from using butter, you know, thinking other substitutes were better. But it looks like all the all the showing on medical stuff is butter is good for you. Not, not a problem with it. I mean, it's like anything. I can't eat a tub a day, but anyway. So that's how. You butter toast, I know everybody knows how to do that. But this is gonna be broiler cinnamon toast. It's the toast that I grew up on. I've had toast since then. Uh, but it's totally different. It's not a piece of toast you take out of a toaster and put sugar on and cinnamon. I mean, I guess that is cinnamon toast, but it's not cinnamon toast, not the one I grew up on and the one I love. So after the bread is buttered, in this case a hot dog bun, I sprinkle it with just a little sugar. Just over here, get these other two pieces here. Did you all grow up on eating cinnamon toast cooked in a broiler? I'm 70, so that's my mother had a broiler on a, we had a propane system out on the farm. And uh, I remember her, she cooked all of her toast, not just cinnamon toast, but in the morning she would get up and be fixing breakfast. And she'd be leaning over on our stove because the broiler was on the bottom, of course. And uh, taking and making our regular toast like this. And regular toast the same way. Just don't put sugar and cinnamon on it and put it under the broiler. Here's the cinnamon I use. I like to do the cinnamon the last thing so it kind of melts into the toast. There you go, that's it. Thank goodness for Wally World. Get spices cheap enough that way. I'm gonna cook this in an air fryer, which my mother never had, of course. I'm gonna put it on air broil. And when you put this air broiler on, it immediately goes to high temperature in 10 minutes. So there it goes. And you don't really have to wait for it to heat up for preheat. It does it on its own. Get this in here before it starts getting too hot. here I mean it only takes just a minute to get up to temperature they say it'll do four pieces of toast I, I don't know I've just I do four at a time and but it, I'm sorry they say it'll do six pieces of toast and I guess you would if you had time to put them on the rack and uh, get them arranged just right so air fryer's going. It's heating right now. I mean, there's no waiting time on when you're on broiler. It doesn't have to preheat. Uh, the only thing you have to watch out for is you don't want to burn it and it goes really quick. So I'm just gonna keep the video camera running and ask you what's your favorite toast that you eat now.
I like avocado toast. It's okay. I've had it. I like uh, regular toast that's cooked in a toaster on both sides with an egg and cheese, maybe a piece of sausage on it, sprinkled with a little Cajun seasoning. I really like spicy food, so let's see here. I'll show you how my butter is kept on the cabinet. I use this little container. It took two weeks to get it, and it was a dollar fifty from Timu. I didn't think I'd ever get anything in. It took so long, but it works fine, and the price was great, of course. All right, it's already started to melt. So I'm old, and I can only concentrate on one thing at a time. So sorry about that. Let's see here. It's not going to be long. It's been in a minute and a half. It's already melted. And my, believe me, my big man buddy, he will love his little toast pieces with cinnamon and sugar on them. It's not something I do every day, but he gets rewarded for keeping away all the strangers at the house, like the mailman and my neighbor that comes over. He's still going to bark at them when they walk up. And so he's doing his job, and I appreciate it. So he gets a little treat this morning. Yeah, it's already looking good back there. So, uh, Leave me a comment and tell me what type of toast you like. What's your favorite? Do you like cinnamon toast and do you like broiled cinnamon toast? I'm probably not the only one, but you know, I may be. All right. It's browning really quick. And I'm going to bring this out here in just a minute and show you how quick it happens. It's done. Less than two minutes. That, that's fast food, really good fast food, really quick. Uh, you know what? I do not want... I like the way some of it is done. I don't know if you can see that. But I like a little brown on mine. I want it to something about that taste of that all right turn it back on it's already on it'll preheat just instantly it starts and as you can see it's melted the butter the sugar and the cinnamon and at the right point it creates a little glazed top that'll actually when you touch it it kind of cracks it's always a great thing back again here oh yeah so 30 seconds in this time check it and yeah, the boys need a little bit more he, like, he likes toast too do you have a dog or a cat that uh, helps you out in the kitchen Mine's like a little human garbage disposal. If you have anything left, he's going to eat it instantly. Don't drop anything on the floor. He doesn't abide by that five-second rule. It's one second for him, and it's gone. All right. And I'm going to turn on my vent hood up here because if this smokes at all, sorry about the noise, if it starts smoking, which it does when it's baking, comes out, it'll throw my fire alarm on. Nobody wants to hear that squeal. All right. I believe it's ready now. Oh yeah. Baby boys, crusties. You will love. I love using hamburger and hot dog buns. To uh, make toast with There's something about them, it, it has a wonderful flavor to it. All right, that's the deal, Lucille. It's all cooked, all cooked good. So good here, and I'm going to enjoy this, a part of it, with a cup of coffee and uh, 
let my little buddy have his couple of little pieces here. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up on uh, share and follow. Please follow so you'll know what the next video you get. I'm just an old dude, not a professional at this. I just love to cook. I've been cooking for years, 60 years, matter of fact. So uh, thank you for dropping in, and I will just talk at you later. A country boy can cook.